Hello everyone, today Ask F5 shows you how to upgrade Big IP, Viprian, Virtualized Clustered Multiprocessing or VCMP systems. This demonstration shows you how to upgrade a pair of Big IP, Viprian, VCMP host systems with a new version of Big IP software. It also demonstrates how to upgrade a VCMP Guest High Availability or HA device group that is running on the VCMP host. There are three parts to the upgrade. Upgrading the VCMP host and standby VCMP guest systems, changing the upgraded VCMP guest system from standby to active, and then upgrading the other system. For links to each step in this video and a written version of the procedures, check the description section for the video. The Viprion System and VCMP Module The Viprion system is a hypervisor. The system includes multiple blades that work together as a cluster to process application traffic. A Viprion cluster is the group of active blades in the Viprion chassis. The Viprion system can run the VCMP module, which you can provision on Viprion and other platforms. VCMP allows you to run multiple instances of Big IP software on the same platform. A VCMP host is the system-wide hypervisor that makes it possible for you to create and view Big IP instances known as guests. A VCMP guest is an instance of Big IP software that you create on the VCMP system. The guest enables you to provision one or more Big IP modules to process application traffic. Complete the following tasks before you start upgrading your Viprian systems. Verify that the management interface for each slot is physically wired to an external switch so that you can maintain connectivity to the management port if the primary blade designation changes during the update. Consult the Ask F5 article to ensure you upgrade to a Big IP version that is compatible with your Viprion platform. For VCMP systems, consult the article to ensure you upgrade your hosts and guests to Big IP versions that are compatible. Consult the article to identify the Big IP versions that you can upgrade to from your current version of Big IP. Review the release notes for the version you want to install. F5 recommends that you reactivate the host license before you upgrade. However, you can verify the service check date for the license to see if you need to reactivate it. For more information, see the article. Consult the article if you have a Viprion B2250 blade and you are upgrading your host to Big IP 13.1.3.3 or 13.1.3.4. Note that this only applies to hosts and not guests. In this demonstration, Big IP Host 1 and Big IP Host 2 are Viprians configured as VCMP hosts. They are both standalone devices in active state. They are not in a device group nor running in active standby mode. With VCMP provisioned, they do not run application traffic. Big IP Host 1 and Big IP Host 2 both have a guest running on them. Big IP Host 1 has guest 2 running on it, and Big IP Host 2 has guest 1 running on it. The guests are in a device group. They load balance and process application traffic. Preparing to upgrade the VCMP host. This demonstration upgrades a Viprion VCMP host from Big IP 15.1.0 to Big IP 15.1.0.4. Looking at the main tab of a host in this demonstration, you can see that it does not have virtual servers or local traffic configuration of its own. Instead, all local traffic configuration is on the VCMP guest. Log into the configuration utility for the Viprion system you are upgrading, which is Big IP Host 2 in this demonstration. To check the status of the system, go to System, Software Management. Under Installed Images, check the version and boot location. This demonstration is running Big IP 15.1.0 at boot location HD 1.2. To check the clusters, go to System, Clusters. At the bottom of the page, verify the status for the slots you are using display as green. The green status icon indicates a slot is active and running properly. In this demonstration, the Viprion chassis has four slots. You can install a Viprion blade in each slot. However, this demonstration only uses two blades, one in slot one and slot two. Next, if the guest is currently active, you must force it into standby status before you upgrade. Start by checking the guest. If it is in standby status, you can skip the next step. Go to VCMP Guest List. In this demonstration, the guest is Guest 1. 
Go to VCMP Guest Status. Under Prompt Status, you can see that the guest is active. Therefore, you must fail over to the guest on the host you are not upgrading. To do so, log into the active guest and force the failover status for the traffic group to standby. After you log into the configuration utility for the guest on the host you are upgrading, which is guest 1 in this demonstration, go to Device Management, Traffic Groups. Select the traffic group for this device. Select Force to Standby and then select Force to Standby again. Next, check the status of the guest you failed over to. After you log into the configuration utility for the guest you failed over to, which is guest 2 in this demonstration, go to Device Management, Traffic Groups. Under Failover Status, ensure the status is active. Go to Local Traffic, Virtual Servers. Ensure that the icon for the virtual server is green, which indicates that it is active. Next, to ensure the host system does not have issues that will prevent the configuration from loading after you upgrade, validate the host configuration. Open the command line for the host you are upgrading. Enter tmsh load sys config verify. This command verifies the configuration without making any changes to the running configuration. Check the system output for any issues. Next, you create an archive of the host you are upgrading and download it to your local system. If you encounter a problem during the upgrade, you can use it to restore the host configuration. Open the configuration utility for the host you are upgrading. Go to System, Archives, Add. Enter a name for the archive. Select Finished. Select OK. Select the UCS file you just created. Select Download. Select OK. Next, you must import and verify the software image. For information about how to do so, watch the Ask F5 video, Importing a Software Image to the Big IP System. Lastly, you already failed over the guest on the host you are upgrading, which is guest 1 in this demonstration, to the guest on the other Viprian host. Before you upgrade, shut down Guest 1. Go to VCMP, Guest List. Select the guest and then select Configure. Select OK. Upgrading the VCMP host. Start by installing the upgrade. Go to System, Software Management, Image List. Under Available Images, select the image you want to install and then select Install. Enter a volume. This demonstration uses 1. Select Install. To monitor the progress of the installation, periodically select the Image List tab to refresh the page and watch the updates. In this demonstration, the system begins to install Big IP 15.1.0.4 on HD.1.1. When the software finishes installing, the install status is complete and you can see the version, boot location, and that the version is not active. Next, reboot to the volume that is running the upgrade. Go to System, Software Management, Boot Locations. Select the boot location you want. Select Activate, and then select OK. After the host restarts, ensure the system is running the upgrade and the chassis slots are active and functioning properly. After you log into the configuration utility, go to System, Software Management, Image List. Under Installed Images, ensure the upgrade you just installed is the active version. Go to System, Clusters, Properties. Verify the status for the slots you are using is green. Preparing to upgrade the VCMP guest. The guest on the host may be running a different Big IP version and require a different upgrade. In this demonstration, the guest is running Big IP 14.1.0.5 and upgrading to Big IP 14.1.2.6. Before you upgraded the host, you shut down the guest. Now you must restart it by deploying it. Go to VCMP, Guest List. Select the guest and then select Deploy. You can watch the deployment progress in the status column. This process may take a few minutes. After the guest finishes deploying, note the IP address. Go to VCMP, Guest Status. 
Under Prompt Status, you can see that the guest is in standby status. Next, check the current software version on the guest. Open the configuration utility for the guest you are upgrading, which is Guest 1 in this demonstration. Go to System, Software, Image List. Under Installed Images, you can see the version of Big IP that is active on the guest. Ensure the guest does not have any issues that will prevent the configuration from loading after you upgrade. To do so, open the command line for the guest you are upgrading. Enter TMSH load sys config verify. Check the system output for any issues. When you make changes or changes are pending on a guest, you must push the changes to the other guest to synchronize their configurations before you upgrade. Open the configuration utility for the guest you are upgrading. Go to Device Management, Overview. In this demonstration, there are changes pending on guest 1. Select Sync. Next, create an archive of the guest and download it to your local system. If you encounter a problem during the upgrade, you can use it to restore the guest configuration. Go to System, Archives, Add. Enter a name for the archive. Select Finished. Select OK. Select the UCS file you just created. Select Download. Select OK. Next, set the device group to Manual Sync. Go to Device Management, Device Groups. Select the device group name, and then select Manual with Incremental Sync. Select Update. As a precautionary measure, to prevent the guest you are upgrading from becoming active during the upgrade or when it goes back online after you upgrade, you force it into offline status. To do so, go to Device Management, Devices. Select this guest, which has Self in its name. Select Force Offline, and then select OK. When the page refreshes, in Status, the icon that displays indicates the change. Upgrading the VCMP Guest Start by installing the upgrade. Go to System, Software Management. Select the software image file you want to install, and then select Install. Enter the volume you want to use. This demonstration creates a new volume with the name 2, which is HD 1.2 on the system. Select Install. To monitor the progress of the installation, periodically select the Image List tab to refresh the page and watch the updates. When the software finishes installing, the install status is complete. You can see the version and boot location and that the version is not active. Next, reboot to the volume that is running the upgrade. Go to System. Software Management, Boot Locations. Select the boot location you want. Select Activate and then OK. The system restarts. After the guest restarts, ensure the system is running the upgrade. Go to System, Software Management. Under Installed Images, ensure the upgrade you just installed is the active version. When you bring the guest back online, it is available to load balance traffic. Go to Device Management, Devices. Select this guest, which has self in its name. Select Release Offline, and then select OK. When the page refreshes, the status displays as Standby. Preparing to fail over to the upgraded system. The guest you did not upgrade is active and running the older version of the software. Switch the traffic from that guest to the upgraded guest. To do so, on the guest you did not upgrade, force the failover status for the traffic group to standby. To verify that the guest you did not upgrade is still passing traffic, go to Local Traffic, Virtual Servers. In this demonstration, the guest has one virtual server and it is active. Failing over to the upgraded system. Start by forcing the guest you did not upgrade to standby status. Go to Device Management. Traffic Groups. Select the traffic group for this device. Select Force to Standby, and then select Force to Standby again. Then, check the status of the upgraded guest. 
After you log into the configuration utility for the upgraded guest, which is guest one in this demonstration, go to device management, traffic groups. Under failover status, ensure the status is active. Go to local traffic, virtual servers, virtual server list. Ensure that the icon for the virtual server is green, which indicates that it is active. You can also check the virtual server statistics by going to virtual servers, statistics, virtual server, and verifying that it is taking active connections. Repeating the upgrading process. After you finish upgrading the first host and guest, you can repeat the first part of this process on the other host and guest. In this demonstration, that is host one and guest two. This is a summary of the steps you must repeat from the first part of this demonstration. That's it. If you have installation, maintenance, troubleshooting, or general questions about F5 products and solutions, leave us a comment or send us an email.